Cristiano Jr.'s luxury life will leave you stunned. Expensive rollies, a crazy crib in the sky, and having one of the biggest YouTubers in the world on speed dial. These are stupidly expensive things Cristiano Jr. owns that cost more than your life. And first up, his dad got him a present so crazy, it almost had him arrested. Ronaldo loved spending time with his family, especially his son Jr., because the kid is like a young replica of him. Back in 2017, Ronaldo took Jr. and the family on a trip back to Portugal so they could spend some quality time with his relatives. They were having so much fun just being together that they decided to extend the fun by going to the beach. And that's when Ronaldo let loose a little and almost ruined his kid's life. See, Ronaldo wanted Junior to give the best time out on the sea and he didn't care what the cost was. I mean, the dude's on a $200 million contract. He can afford anything. Ronaldo spent 15 k just to get Junior a ride on a jet ski. And my dad only gives me $20 on Thanksgiving. Junior was enjoying the ride and his aunt was watching him have so much fun, she wanted to keep the memory for a long time. And that's when she started videoing the whole thing. Now, this would have been cool and all, but she took it a step further, posted it on her socials, and a couple of minutes later, it was chaos. The clip of Junior riding on the jet ski had gone viral and everyone had seen it, including the Portuguese police. And here's the thing, it's illegal for kids Junior's age to be riding on a jet ski. Ronaldo was immediately contacted and he was facing possible jail time for allowing a minor like his son to ride it. Lucky for CR7, he got away with a warning and a fine, and I haven't seen Junior on any crazy jet ski rides ever since, so I'm guessing that's the end of that. But Ronaldo wasn't done gifting his son crazy gifts, and if this one was illegal, Junior's next gift was insane. 817 goals, 5 Ballon d'Ors, and so many clutch moments in the game I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Ronaldo's pretty much done everything, but you see See guys, part of the reason Ronaldo became so good was because of the boots he started wearing. If I'm on Sunday league duties with the guys, it's Adidas Speed Flow on an $80 Amazon thrift store. But for guys like Ronaldo, it's only the best. See, Ronaldo has admitted in the past he wants Junior to become a pro footballer, and has even said Junior is the reason he hasn't retired yet. But Ronaldo also figured Junior could use a head start, and that's why he decided to get him Nike Mercurial boots worth $150,000. It gets even crazier too, because Junior was using the exact same version his dad wore in actual games. Maybe Ronaldo kind of saw the future, man, because even since Junior started putting on these mercurials, he became a beast. I mean, some of the goals the kid scores are out of this world. He has me checking his YouTube skill comps at 3am. In January, Ronaldo decided to leave United in a move to Al Nasir in the Saudi Pro League that has him earning a staggering $200 million a season. And with a mega deal like that, he just had to splash some of the cash on his son. And the stuff he bought him was a legacy of greatness. Remember when I said Junior was tearing it up with his mercurials? Yeah, well, that was at United, but with his dad on the move to Al Nasir, Junior needed a new club to showcase his skills, and his dad had the perfect answer. Now, he could have just got him registered into the Al Nasir youth team, but Ronaldo figured his son could use some helping hands from the best coaches in the world, and that's why he got him signed into the Mahad Academy, paying over 15 k a year for lessons. The Mahad Academy is one of the best academies in the world. In fact, it's so exclusive, top coaches like Jose Mourinho and Roberto Mancini are all in as ambassadors, so they can train the next generation. And maybe Ronaldo's decision was a good thing because when Junior did finally get registered into the Al Nasir youth team, he had instant impact by scoring this banger on his debut. Someone hide this kid from Todd Bowley before he drops a $150 million offer on him. Ronaldo's new move to Al Nasir came with some huge challenges because unlike Europe, he had to leave everything behind, including his multi-million dollar luxury house and even his Pestana CR7 hotels. But come on, man, it's Ronaldo. And if he's making a big move like that, you know he's got it all figured out, including the cribs too. And his place in Saudi is a palace in the sky. This place is the spot. Ronaldo bought two freaking floors because he wants to live here with Junior, his family, a couple of relatives, and his security team too. The place has a cinema room so they can watch the latest videos on Mr. Football, which you can too by hitting that subscribe button. An awesome view of the city, well-equipped interior, and even has a shopping mall downstairs. So they never have to leave for anything. This place costs Ronaldo 300k a month. And as crazy as this is, they're still human beings too. And while it looks like they've got everything 
everything they need in this crazy crib, they still get bored easily. And Ronaldo was looking to complete the set too. I mean, a palace in the sky, a luxury chain of hotels across the land, the only place missing, a crib on the waves. Of course, Junior's dad owns a crazy yacht. This $7 million super yacht has five bedrooms, a gym, and an indoor court. So they play games on it. Whoa, no wonder this famous YouTuber was dying to meet Ronaldo Jr. because he's his dad's biggest fan. I show speed absolutely loves Ronaldo. He's even made a career out of being a fanboy for the goats. On Junior's birthday last year, Speed was supposed to show up for the kid, but he unfortunately couldn't make it because he was graduating that same day. But he's got on to record to apologize and even promise to make it up to Junior. Damn, imagine having one of the most famous YouTubers in the world dying to meet you. Junior is living the life, but now guys, it's time for the heavy stuff because being the son of Ronaldo also means he can't be caught lacking when it comes to the drip game. And Ronaldo's got this one on lock too. As a pro baller, if you're good enough, you get to win many awards and bring your family along. And for Junior, it gets even better. See, Ronaldo has won a ton of awards in his career. It's so crazy that he probably can't even count. And now with Junior deciding to go pro, Ronaldo figured he could get him used to the life of being a successful pro baller. And that means taking him to award shows. But he can't come dressed in normal clothes. Nah. Style change and Junior's rollies will blow your mind. A 500k custom dial made with 79 real diamonds cut around the real watch. The kid's wearing real diamonds around his wrist, and I've got a cheap knockoff I got on Wish. He's even got a diamond Cuban to complete the outfit. Not sure if Ronaldo's trying to turn Junior into a baller or a rapper from the East Coast. But if the stuff Junior's wearing is crazy, you should check out his dad's rollie. It's insane. Ronaldo's watch, a Frank Muller exclusive, legit cost $1.5 million. Damn. It's got 474 real diamonds and 70 rubies to match. CR7 is the king of the drip. But you see guys, despite all of this, Junior's got one thing so crazy even his dad doesn't have. And it made him so jealous, he came after his own son. Junior's a teenage social media sensation. See, back when Ronaldo was Junior's age, he was on the streets of Madeira, still trying to make it pro. And stuff was hard for him. He had to grind every day just to make it to the top, and so life as a teenager sucked. Ronaldo didn't bag any chicks in high school because he was too busy serving detention for running late or getting into fights. No one knew Ronaldo, but for Junior, it's a whole different ball game because at his age, he's already one of the most popular teenagers in the world. A couple of years back, even though his dad didn't allow him to get a phone, Junior decided to sneak up on one when everyone was away and created his own IG account. All he did was uploaded one video man and in less than 24 hours, he'd already bagged over a million followers. Not even his dad could match this, so when he came back and found out his son was a new social media sensation, he got pissed and had him take it down. But that didn't stop Junior from becoming even more popular. Back when he was at United, he had fans turning up to the youth games just so they could catch a glimpse of him. And even when he transferred to Al Nasir, it was the same thing. I mean, look at this. They're already asking him for autographs and he hasn't even turned pro yet. Junior's already got his own band of followers, man, and Ronaldo knows this, but Ronaldo also knows that not everyone who follows Junior is supporting him. Some people just want to see him fail, so he tries to teach Junior to be careful of that. I mean, yeah, sure, Chris, the kid gets it, but at his age, he's already more popular than you. I mean, it's so crazy, even Ronaldo's mum thinks Junior's better than him. At his age, he plays better than his dad because he has the best teacher in the world, his dad. Facts. But even in Junior's army of followers, there's one person he probably thinks about more often because her opinion about him matters more than anyone else, including his dad. Click the next video to find out who Junior's mystery woman is. Yeah, his secret girlfriend. 